Now to the situation with Iran. Iranian news agencies reporting that the country quadrupled its production of low enriched uranium amid the tensions with the U.S. The U.S. this month deployed aircraft carriers, warships, bombers to the Gulf to counter what intelligence agencies believe is a heightened risk of attack now from Iranian proxy militias. President Trump in his latest remarks offering both sticks and carrots, telling reporters he is willing now to talk with Iran directly, but also willing to attack. I think Iran would be making a very big mistake if they did anything. If they do something, it'll be met with great force, but we have no indication that they will. We've not uh, talked about it. We'll see what happens. If they called, we would certainly negotiate, but that's going to be up to them. I'd only want them to call if they're ready. If they're not ready, they don't have to bother. With me in studio is Dr. Emily Landau, Senior Research Fellow with INSS. Uh, Dr. Landau, I want to ask about the, the reports of the quadrupling. Does that mean Iran is now beyond the limit, the stockpile limit that was laid out by the JCPOA deal, or perhaps is, are they still being careful to, to be within the parameters? Well, it's, it's a strange uh, uh, notification about this quadrupling the amount. It's not clear how they did it. Are they using more centrifuges? Are they have they a using, lot of unused centrifuges. Yeah, or are they using advanced centrifuges? It's not clear. It was a very uh, laconic uh, uh, notice. Should we be skeptical um, but, about but it? But I think that it's uh, pretty clear that they have not crossed the 300 kilogram uh, limit that the JCPOA sets on the amount of low enriched uranium. Are you skeptical then about those reports that they quadrupled it within the last few weeks and where would it come from? It's a little from? strange. It's, it's, it's not clear what is meant by that except for the fact that they are trying to uh, indicate that there are things that they can do in the nuclear realm that are starting to push the limits of the nuclear deal. But so far, they haven't crossed any uh, lines. One of the parameters of the nuclear deal that Iran largely now is walking away from with, with Europe was that breakout period, right? They wanted to make sure, no matter what, Iran would have to be kept at least 12 months away from uh, producing a nuclear weapon if that's what they decided to do, that there would be at least the, the low stockpile limit would indicate at least a 12-month timetable. The fact that maybe they're increasing, rapidly increasing the production of uranium, what does that indicate to you about that so-called breakaway period? Right. Well, first of all, we have to understand that these time limits are uh, very uh, imprecise, I would say. Um, just before the JCPOA was uh, um, announced, we were hearing that, you know, there's almost a year until breakout. Suddenly, just before the JCPOA, we were told that, no, they're only three to four months. So then when they stretched it to a year, it seemed like that was a long time. In any case, a year is not a long time when we think about how long it takes the international community to make decisions on this issue. But certainly, any um, a movement away from the limits that were placed on Iran according to the deal um, on the part of Iran are a worrying uh, indication. If they're uh, enriching faster right now or if they actually go to the 20 percent uh, level, which they have threatened to do, all of these will, uh, they will shorten the timeline. In, in the most case. elementary terms, what is low enriched uranium? What kind, is that, what kind of... Well, low enriched uranium is uranium that is enriched to 3.5 to 5 percent. And that's the level that you need in order to have fuel for, for most civilian nuclear facilities. Okay. If you start enriching to 20 percent, there are some facilities that also use fuel based on 20 percent. Once you enrich to over 90 percent, uh, then you're in the uh, arena of fissile material for a nuclear bomb. All right, a lot of a rapidly developing story again, the curious reports from Iranian news agencies that they are quadrupling now yes. the production of that low enriched uranium. Dr. Landau with INSS, thank you so much for being with us, for breaking down these new reports and what to make of them.